to the Think Bigger Real Estate Show. I'm your host, Justin Stoddart. Uh, very excited about this episode today because I think it solves a big problem, not only for real estate agents, uh, but for your customers and for uh, America as a whole. Uh, there's no doubt that um, debt is a growing epidemic in our country and that uh, far too many uh, people in general live off debt. And uh, today we're going to be talking about how you as a real estate agent can start to get um, more control of your personal finances so that you can act more as an advisor to your clients. Again, the goal being helping you be an expert and be able to uh, command um, being a well-paid professional. So before we get into that, before I introduce today's guests, I'm going to um, just reiterate the purpose of this show, which is to help you think bigger. Because when you think bigger, um, your actions start to follow suit and your uh, opportunities and life Again, follow that. And uh, my aim and passion is to help you have a life of great impact, which I'll require you to start thinking bigger. So uh, let me uh, begin by introducing um, a good friend of mine. Uh, his name is Rod Cummings. I've known Rod for years. He's an entrepreneur, a professional, um, someone who I greatly admire and uh, respect. And he reached out to me to said, hey, Justin, I have a solution for real estate agents that they need to know about. Um, and so I said, hey, let's bring it on the show. I agree with you that that is something that would be of benefit to them for their own life, as well as for um, helping you be a, a, a real differentiator in the marketplace. So um, I want to introduce Rod Cummings. Thanks for coming on the show today, my friend. Oh, you bet. Thank you for having me on today, Justin. It's uh, it's awesome. I, the show that you've created, I've watched some of your previous uh, episodes and uh, the impact you're bringing to the real estate marketplace is incredible. So thank you very much. Appreciate it, Rod. Um, so let's get into this topic. Um, obviously, kind of you brought it to my attention, not that I wasn't aware of the the problem, but but kind of a solution. Talk to us a little bit about what we're going to cover today and um, who you've brought along with you to help kind of have some additional experts helping us get kind of to the bottom of one way to go about doing this. Well, absolutely. Well, uh, about a year or so ago, uh, I got involved uh, with the two gentlemen that are on the screen here. Uh, they're currently uh, associate partners with a company called Symmetry Financial Group, and they're also advisory board members. And they're very much involved with the launch of a new initiative within Symmetry called Debt Free Life. And when I uh, was exposed to the program um, back in February, I got extremely excited about it. And uh, over the course of the last several months, they have been involved in the implementation of it. And when I learned about uh, your podcast, uh, I thought, and what's happening in the Portland market with the explosion in the real estate and of course the associated debt that goes along with it, I thought, wow, what a better way than to jump on the show with you and explode, expose the uh, Portland realtors and the Portland market to this opportunity and uh, see where it goes. You know, I so, appreciate it, Rob. Um, yeah. You know, there's, there's, um, it, it's, it's interesting from my vantage point, I get the chance to work with a lot of different real estate agents. And I think from the out, outset, people think that, all, that if you're a real estate agent, that you're rich, right? Maybe you drive a nice vehicle. Uh, maybe you, you know, people see your signs and stuff around. They see you selling homes and there's just an assumed, uh, th this assumption that real estate agents, you know, don't, have any concern with money. And, and I know firsthand um, in, because I, I you know, deal with some, even some great agents who, who, who struggle uh, with this. And I think everybody struggles with what is the best option for your money. Uh, but but you know, debt can be a real killer. And uh, so I really appreciate you bringing this to my attention. You bet, you bet. Well, I'll just uh, let you know that both Matt and Brad um, not even be involved in the rollout of this new initiative, Debt Free Life, but they've actually had some examples of working with clients that have already uh, put this into practice. And so I can't wait for you to hear uh, what they've been able to do in this short period of time since this initiative launched and the impact that they're having both within their own businesses and helping other agents like me being able to bring this to the marketplace uh, around the United States. So uh, I'm excited to be uh, to have them on the show today. Awesome. Well, they look a little bit alike. I don't. I don't think they're related, but um, I just want to let everybody know that that's actually not a mirror image. Like these are actually two separate human beings in separate studios. <laughs> okay, so everybody was wondering. Yeah. So we've got Matt Smith and his brother Brad Smith, as you can tell, identical twins. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Very good. Well, welcome, gentlemen. Thanks for coming on the show today. Appreciate it, Justin. For having Thank us. you for having us. Yeah. So let's let's. Uh, you know, let's kind of dive into this topic here. Um, you guys probably have some specific stats on on debt. And again, I'm not just picking on real estate agents. This is, um, you know, nationwide. Let's talk a little bit about this debt epidemic uh, that, that that really plagues our our country. 
Yeah, it is an epidemic. I know that firsthand, personally, I closed a business down in 2012 and left that business with a lot of debt. And I know firsthand that it affects your stress level, your anxiety, your sleep. It affected my relationships with my family and my spouse and you know, virtually every aspect of life. And so, you know, we're very passionate about helping people get out of debt, educating people. And we have very specific tools that help people accelerate their debt without spending anything more than they're currently spending. And I, and I want I want to ask any listeners this question, and I want you to think about if you were to ask your clients this question, if I could show you a way to pay off all of your debt in less than nine years, including your mortgage, without spending anything more than you're currently spending, is that something you'd be interested in seeing? I haven't yet met a person say no to that. And uh, you know, and the realtors are, are in a unique position that they're, every client that they have, virtually unless they're paying cash, is getting ready to go into a lot of debt. And it is a thought, it is a concern for a lot of people. And I know that realtors are always looking for ways to, to add additional value to their clients, to position themselves and differentiate themselves from the marketplace. And so that's what we do. And we help we work uh, directly with realtors and mortgage brokers um, with their clients and with themselves to help them pay off debt in an affordable way. Interesting. Um, I, I, again, I love the topic. Um, what, let's let's ask kind of Matt, would you add anything to that, that that you would say that would kind of open people's eyes as to maybe why this is such an important topic? Well, yeah, um, I'm getting some feedback. I don't know if you guys are hearing that, but uh, maybe. <laughs> sorry to pick on you, but I think it's on your end. Maybe turn your <laughs> off a little bit. Yeah, sorry about that. I just want to make sure everyone can hear what we're talking about. Is that better? A little bit. Okay. Well, I've got my speakers as low as I can and still be able to hear you guys. So <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, we're obviously in the insurance and financial services business. So we're always looking for ways to add additional value, solve additional problems. Uh, similar to you guys. I love, I love how you intro the show and, you know, having the advisor approach not just a salesperson approach, but actually truly adding value. And to me, if you can help focus on uh, some of the biggest problems in people's lives that affect them more than just about any other problem in their life. I mean, and that's that's the idea of uh, being a slave to debt. And, you know, Brad had mentioned that we shut our business down in 2012. We were $250,000 in debt. And, you know, fortunately, we were able to get that paid off in about 18 months. And a lot of people look at that and say, how, how can you do that in 18 months? And when you have a strategy where you can identify inefficient dollars, inefficient tax dollars, inefficient uh, interest, just inefficient dollars, you can and you can put them into a financial vehicle that can accelerate that payoff. You can literally take people from a 30 year window to uh, you know nine years or less. We say nine years or less. We've got clients seven years, five years. We got a client uh, just last week, 2.3 years. Um, what 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 was going to take them 30 years? It's just amazing what you can do if you know how to do it effectively. And so um, that's really what, what we've done with Debt Free Life. It's an initiative. And, you know, it's not something that we think that we can just kind of keep within our company. We can show other people how to do it. Other people that are already meeting with people that are in debt or getting ready to go into debt as a way to add more value, become a more uh, more of an advisor like you're talking about um, and solve these problems for your clients. That's great. I'm going to, I'm going to mute your audio for just a minute, Matt, raise your hand if you want to talk again. <laughs> Let's see if that fixes it. Um, so one, one interesting comment. Um, so I was at one point on the advisory board of a, of, of a tech company that um, was a startup and it was centered around helping people make better decisions with their money. And uh, it, the, the, the concept behind it is that for employers, I don't think it was Matt actually, I think they're still back. So it's like it's, someone else is the culprit, maybe it's me. Um, but the concept behind it is that employers should pay for this benefit for their employees because of absenteeism and presenteeism. Now they shouldn't, it, it's not that they should, but it was an idea because there's a real problem with people missing work because of money problems or not being present because they're worried about money, right? And so to your point, Matt, is that um, it's a bigger problem than people think that not only affects them at home, right? But it, it occupies their mind during the day and uh, as a result, keeps them from being totally productive and helping solve the problem, you know, helping them be productive so that they can solve the problem, um, you know, that's in front of them. So again, um, 
I think anything that's that's helping people to make better financial decisions is a great concept. So Rod, I'm gonna see if it's you. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pause Rod out here for a sec. We'll we'll see if it's him. Okay, let's keep going here for a minute. I think it was Rod. I think he I I, I think we found our culprit, gentlemen. All right. <laughs> You'll have to raise your hand if you want to say something, Rod. Like this is back to third grade. Um, so, just, so I, I just want to comment too. You, you you asked the question, how is it an epidemic? How does it affect you know everyday Americans? And and the average life. If you look at the lifetime income of the average American, it's two million dollars. So over the lifetime, they bring in two million dollars throughout their whole lifetime. Yet at the age of sixty-five, they're left with sixty thousand dollars in retirement. And I would say that that's not the American dream. That, that is not what they were going for when they worked for 40 years of their life. And the reality is that if you look at a pie chart and what, what percentage of their money is going where, 34% is going to interest. Think about that. So we're selling the American dream. People are buying a house. They're very excited about it. But 34% of their income is going to go to interest. 40% is taxes. That's including sales tax, gas tax, income tax, state tax. All these different taxes, 40%. That's 74% of the average American income is going to interest and taxes. And so it's no wonder that people get so frustrated that they're not making enough money. The reason people can't retire in America is not an income problem. It's a debt problem. Mm -hmm. And when you can show somebody how to, you know, we, we don't learn these things in school. We're never taught in school how to reduce taxes, how to reduce debt. These are actually very simple problems to fix and it doesn't take extra income. You know, if you if you go talk to a financial advisor or CPA, the only solution they're going to have is give me more money and then I'm going to help you get out of debt. And, and, and you know, you look at the, the Dave Ramsey approach, a different financial approaches to paying off debt. They say live on rice and beans for the next 10 years and help pay off debt. We don't do that. We help actually increase the, the amount of money uh, for lifestyle just taking inefficient dollars and it's just a lack of, uh, of knowledge out there on how to do it. So when you can connect somebody to experts who know how to do this, who have a track record with literally thousands of clients that we've helped get out of debt over the past uh, four years, we can do it for your client. We can do it for yourself. And so what we, what we uh, propose to clients is let us not only educate you and show you how to do this, but put a custom plan together at no cost where you can see the exact month of credit card number one, disappearing the exact month and year credit card number two the automobile the first the second what month and year guaranteed in contracts can we pay off the house and they'll know exactly when they're going to be at debt and it, and it gives somebody in my opinion what i've been told is the greatest gift which is hope and direction and i and i've also been told you can't give hope without direction you can't give direction without hope but when somebody can see exactly when the chains are gone when the shackles are gone they are free from debt it is a feeling like no other. I've experienced myself and I've seen client after client experiences. And it's something that if you're looking for referrals, if, you, if you're looking for your clients to refer you to other people, this is a great way to do it because it leaves that client. And I know that, and you probably just know this too, with real estate, you work with a lot of realtors, that sometimes realtors just can't get somebody approved. They, 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 the, the, the client wants to buy a house. They just can't get approved for the loan. And so this is a great way to help that client uh, start to pay off the debt and get in a position that they can actually uh, qualify for a loan. Mm -hmm. So lenders should perk up because they they would be able to help more people by helping them live a debt-free life. I like it. Um, really, really interesting stuff. You know, I was just doing the math in my head. So you're telling me that the average American brings in $2 million in their lifetime and 104 or 1.4 million of that goes to interest and taxes. I understand you correctly. 74%. Yeah. So more than that. More than 1.4 million. And yeah, and oftentimes we criticize people for saying, how do they only end up with 60,000? And you, you realize when, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a rigged system, right? To where the IRS is going to get their piece, the bank's going to get their piece. Um, that no wonder people are left with very much because they're, they're playing a game that's really tough to win when you've got, uh, a, when you're at a severe disadvantage from a knowledge standpoint of the tax and the interest component. That's exactly right. I mean, you think about the, we all used to play probably the game of life, right? You roll the dice and you, you start, you start at the beginning and you go through life and you, you end up, you know, buying a car, you go into debt, you take out credit cards, you go into debt, you buy a house, you'd go into debt, but you're paying it off and you're, you're getting ahead. And all of a sudden you buy another car, you go into more debt, you pay it down, you sell the house, you buy a bigger house, you go into more debt, something happens. 
And it's just a cycle of constantly up and down, paying down debt, going back more into debt. You know, I've heard that the average person buys a new home every five years and you're always resetting uh, the, the percentage that you're, that, of, of your payment that's going to interest, right? They say it's a four and a half, five percent loan. But in reality, if you look at the percentage that you're paying in that first year, we know that it's a, it's a huge amount is going to interest. Very little is going to principal. So every time you do this, you, you, you know, the client is paying more and more interest. So it adds up to 34% over their lifetime. And so a lot of people just don't know how to do that. And, and, and uh, you know, debt ends up not only becoming, it goes from manageable to all of a sudden taking over and it starts to really consume people. And uh, they just don't, it's very easy for us to get into debt, but nobody knows how to get out of it. Well, again, I oftentimes, you know, will will encourage um, agents to listen to the Think Bigger Real Estate show, show through two years, right? One year is, how can this help me in my own personal life and business? The second year is, how does this help me differentiate myself so that I'm not just another realtor, you know, standing in line to get the chance to market and sell your home? Because knowledge matters. In fact, I was teaching a class this morning on similar differentiation topics. And I said, does anybody here have an example of you where you gave somebody really good advice and it, it moved the needle when it came to wealth building for them? And the guy raised his hand and he said, yes, I told a client not to sell. At, at the, at, and at the time, the home was worth $250,000. That home is worth $750,000 now. I said, so that one bit of advice um, earned that client half a million dollars. And I said, those are the kinds of things that not only you like agents need to be doing, but they also need to be broadcasting and sharing with people because all of a sudden your commission seems really, really small when the kind of value that you're offering up can move the needle for people to that extent, right? And what I hear you guys saying is that this, this 1.4 plus million dollars, you could be influencing and getting back into the pockets of people because of the principles of understanding taxes and, and interest and getting on the winning side of that as opposed to the losing side. Absolutely, the, the impact is so big. It's, okay, I'll give you an example. We have a, a client, 37 years old, husband 37, wife 35, put a plan together that normally it was gonna be over 30 years that they were gonna be out of debt. We're able to get them out of debt in 7.8 years without spending any additional dollars than they were already spending. That not only helped save the client $145,000 of interest, but because they were able to pay off all of their debt in 7.8 years, now you think about all that debt service payment that they're saving for the next 22 years after that can all go into retirement. We were able to put them in a position that with the same exact amount of spending, they're now going to have an additional $700,000 in retirement because of it. So the true difference is actually $845,000 benefit to that client just by simply educating them on how to shift their dollars in a more efficient way. I love it. This is powerful stuff, guys. Uh, really appreciative of you coming on today. Uh, Matt, is there anything else that you want to add in before we kind of wrap things up and actually direct people to where they can go to learn more about this? Uh, no, I mean, I, I guess I could spend a little bit of time talking about um, where they could learn more about this if if sure. now would be appropriate. Yeah. So um, we're going to be doing a webinar, uh, more of an educational webinar this Thursday. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of an early morning. I guess you guys are used to getting up early out there in Oregon. <laughs> I'm on East Coast time. Um, but it will be 8 a.m. Pacific time on Thursday. Um, and you can uh, learn how this program works and how you can, um, I guess, educate your clients on how they can get out of debt uh, sooner. So that's debtfree.guide is going to be the website where you can go on there. There's a short little video on there. If you guys want to watch that, it does kind of go through it a little bit. Um, but then you can register there for the, the webinar on Thursday. Okay. Awesome stuff. And for those that are listening to this um, after the fact, right, obviously there's an opportunity to, to, to be on the live webinar, 8 a.m. Pacific daylight time on Thursday, August the 29th, I believe. Um, what if they want to learn about it afterwards? Will that website still help them? Yeah, we're going to hopefully we'll uh, have the recorded webinar up there. I'm not sure if it'll be up there, you know, how soon it'll be up there. But we're going to try to maybe maybe do more of these webinars as well. Okay. Um, so this is going to be the first one kind of for realtors. Um, so we'd love to partner up with any realtors out there in the Oregon area. Um, but yeah, if there's a lot of interest and you guys are get passionate about it like we do, then yeah, we could do more of them. 
Okay, very good. Well, I'm excited about uh, you know what you guys have shared today. Matt, since I've got you kind of front and center, I'm gonna ask you the signature question of the show today. And uh, uh, that question is this, what is a guy like you is obviously a big thinker, helping people in some really big ways. What do you do to continue to be a big thinker, to con continue to expand your own possibilities? What does that look like for Matt Smith? Teach us. Well, um, you know, it's, it's interesting. Uh, Brad, both Brad and I's life has changed so much in the last six years. You know, we, we had a business that was shut down and we started over. I mean, we had to redefine ourselves. And if you saw kind of our life today, it's so drastically different. It's not even recognizable. Um, and I think a lot of that, uh, you know, if, if you're somebody that's struggling right now, maybe you're not where you want to be in life. Um, I would say appreciate where that's at because the hardest things in my life, um, have actually been the best blessings in my life and the things that I appreciate the most. And if, and if that hadn't, if, if those hard times weren't there, um, that was really the fuel that kept me going and also, um, allowed me to take advantage of opportunities that maybe normally I might be a little bit fearful, but I said, you know, what do I have to lose? And so, um, you know, over the last six years, we've been fortunate enough to get to the top of our company out of, you know, 4,000 different agents um, on the advisory board. Uh, we've got actually several of the companies that we're, that we're running as well. So, um, you know, just uh, everyone has fear, but don't let that stop you from, from moving forward. I love it. I love what you said that. Almost appreciate what you, you know, what I heard you say is uh, actually appreciate you know, this uh, place that you're in. Um, I know Rod and I have a mentor in common who who once said that um, oftentimes life's greatest disappointments turn into God's greatest appointments. And uh, I think uh, I've learned a lot from that. And I think that uh, kind of resonates with, with you know, what you're teaching us as well. So uh, great stuff, guys. Really appreciate uh, what you've poured into uh, this audience, the Think Bigger Real Estate audience. Uh, it's been a pleasure. And um, me not knowing a lot about debt-free life other than what you've shared with us today, I'm excited to learn more about it myself and see how I can further help real estate agents um, improve their own situation as well as uh, offer uh, kind of a unique value in the marketplace. So I uh, appreciate you coming on again. And uh, thank you to everybody for tuning in. And uh, my final request of everybody here uh, is three words, go think bigger. Thanks everybody, appreciate you being on.